870. WWL First News at 441. Good afternoon. I'm David Blake on your official weather station, WWL, AM, FM, and .com, and the Intercom New Orleans family of stations. It is weakening ever so slightly. Tropical Storm Isaac is still giving the New Orleans area some very rough weather. Channel 4 meteorologist Carl Arredondo is standing by with the very latest. Carl, what do you have? At 4 o'clock, it's 60 miles west of New Orleans with winds of 70 miles per hour. Moving towards the northwest at 6, and it's going to continue to weaken with winds right now at 70 miles an hour. Now, Carl, people are looking for a break of any kind, but uh, even downtown New Orleans here, the winds are still whipping real strong. No break the rest of today, uh, no break tonight, and not much of a break for tomorrow. It won't be till tomorrow night and Friday when things start to really ease up a bit, but we'll see a gradually decrease of the winds through Friday. Well, the lack of power, no doubt, the biggest irritant facing so many people. Over 700,000 in the dark for tonight, most likely. And Isaac has caused much of that. WWL's Don Ames reports Governor Bobby Jindal addressed the situation at his most recent afternoon news conference. The governor announced some rather startling figures. MSPSC to do regular briefings, and they're reporting that 656,000 households are, are without power. That is approximately 31% of the state. Eight parishes, southeastern oh, parishes, report 76 to 100% outages. He said Energy, Clico, and the co-ops will have about 15,000 employees ready to work on the problems as soon as it's safe to do so. Utility companies do hope to begin restoration efforts, hopefully tonight.